Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Young. Today we're going to practice an activity that we did in class, part, part, whole. We're going to show the different ways to make the number five. And we're going to use two parts. We're going to use red counters and yellow counters. Okay, let's get started. I can take one red counter and if I take four yellow counters, four. Now let's see if we add them all together. Let's see if we come up with five. One, two, three, four, five. So one plus four equals five. Okay, let's see what else we can do. We can take two red counters. I'll move that one out of there. And three yellow counters. And let's add them all together. One, two, three, four, five. So we have two plus three equals five. Okay, let's try this. Let's use three red counters, and we have to move one of the yellow counters out. You know, boys and girls, remember in our classroom, we have our red counters, and on the back of the red counter is are the yellow counters, but for this demonstration, we're using two, yellow and red, two separate color counters. Now, we have three red counters, and two yellow counters. So one part is three and the other part is two. Let's count and see how many we have now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we just proved that three red counters plus two yellow counters equals five. Still gives us the number five. Okay, now if I take all of the red counters out and start with zero in the first part and put all five counters in the second part, let's see how many we have now. Because we know that zero plus any number is that number. So let's count our yellow counters. One, two, three, four, five. So we have zero plus five equals five. The whole. We've just proven, boys and girls, that we can make four, we can show four ways to make five. Wasn't that fun, boys and girls? See you tomorrow. Keep practicing.